My first experience of Minecraft multiplayer servers was all the way back in 2013, on a Pocket Edition server called Lifeboat Survival Games. Little did I know at the time that Lifeboat would eventually break records as a Minecraft server, and that most of the success would come off the back of their SG game mode which garnered over tens of thousands of players online at a time. But as Sun Tzu once said, nothing lasts forever, and that same SG game mode on Lifeboat barely pulls 1 to 200 players nowadays, and that same drop off can be seen on almost almost every server that has the game mode. As a result of this, many servers have stopped updating survival games, and others have outright removed it just because it's a waste of space. But why did survival games, for lack of a better term, die? I mean, many people still look at it fondly as a childhood memory, and yet no one actually plays it anymore. Is it outdated? Is it boring? Or did we simply all just grow up? I'm gonna use this video to dive deeper into the sad demise of Minecraft survival games, so if you're interested, let's get started. So, if we're gonna talk about survival games, I think it's only fair that we go all the way back to April 5th, 2012, which was the date of the first Minecraft Survival Games event. This event had some of the absolute classic Minecraft YouTubers. There were people like Captain Sparkles, Paul Soares Jr., and Syndicate, and the eventual winner of the event was Ant Venom. This all took place just a few weeks after the original Hunger Games movie had released in theaters, which is the entire basis of what the Survival Games game mode is about. You, as a solo person, most of the time, are in a battle arena filled with chests, and you're fighting against the other players to become the last person standing. As most of you would probably know, this ended up being the basis for some of the biggest multiplayer games on the market right now, including Fortnite, Apex, PUBG, and it all happened because some Minecraft nerds decided to make and play a map based off of a movie back in 2012. Now while these AAA Battle Royale games are still close to the heights of their popularity, the same can definitely not be said for Minecraft survival games anymore. To talk about it though, we're gonna need yet another history lesson to show just how big Minecraft survival games was back in its heyday. So, after the first survival games event, the game mode ballooned in popularity, and just a quick Google Trend search will show exactly what I mean. The months and years afterwards show that this game mode was as popular as it could be, and this growth gave birth to servers like Lifeboat Survival Games, which is the most popular survival game server there's ever been. Now I get it, you might not actually have heard about it, because it was a Pocket Edition server and now was only on Bedrock Edition. But back Back in its day, Lifeboat was breaking records. Back in June of 2015, the server set a new record concurrent player count of 37,527 players, and at the time, this was unheard of for any Minecraft server. If you were on Pocket Edition, it was the server you played on, and it's what made a lot of people fall in love with the game. Some other people that I don't think you can discuss the history of survival games without mentioning are Bayesian Canadian and Jerome ASF, who have made some of the most influential survival games content on the internet. I mean, they even inspired me to start making Minecraft videos all those years ago, and I think the same thing can be said for a lot of people. When Bayesian Canadian was uploading a survival games video almost every day for two years, it's what so many people saw when they first found out about Minecraft in the mid-2010s, and it's a source of nostalgia. But like all good things, those daily survival games videos eventually came to an end, and I think this was the first signal of the downfall of Minecraft survival games. Now I, like a lot of people, kind of left the Minecraft scene as the 2010 decade started to come to a close, and a lot of the people that were playing Minecraft survival games moved on to other battle royales that weren't Minecraft. This is the time that games like Fortnite and PUBG were blowing up massively, and I think this in part contributed towards the downfall of Minecraft survival games. When the interest in Minecraft started picking up again in 2020, I came back to Minecraft thinking it was still the most popular game, and I didn't realize that it was nowhere near that anymore. Another thing that I didn't realize when I started playing Minecraft again in 2020 was that Lifeboat had actually ended up removing their survival games game mode earlier in the year. This was apparently due to them being outdated and low performance, meaning that they didn't get that many players, and I also came to find out that there were a lot of issues behind the scenes at Lifeboat during the time, and that probably contributed to it being removed as well. But when I first heard about that, I was pissed because my childhood game was gone. There were still other decent survival games versions at the time though, like the Hive, Cubecraft, and Hypixel. Some servers even attempted to revive the game mode. For example, Lifeboat actually ended up trialing and then bringing back their original survival games game mode, and just a few days later the Hive also ended up releasing the biggest update there's ever been to the survival games game mode on the server. As the days, weeks, and months went by though, neither of those picked up all that much traction. It started to become very clear that survival games was a dying game mode, and it was starting to die out fast. One of the first dominoes to fall was on the Mineplex Bedrock server. On June 2nd, 2020, 
Survival games along with a few other game modes were removed. April 13th, 2021, the Hive Java shuts down and takes their survival games game mode with it. September 5th, 2022, survival games is removed from Cubecraft Java. October 15th, 2022, the Hive takes the survival games NPC out of the main hub, puts it in the arcade hub, and it hasn't returned since. In hindsight, maybe Lifeboat was right to remove survival games in early 2020. Maybe they saw the writing on the wall. So, where is survival games today? I mean, people are starting to realize that the game mode has been in steady decline over the past few years, with this tweet from the Mr. Epic basically confirming that for his own server. But what's survival games like on other servers? Which ones even still have it, and what are the player counts like? Well, Hypixel, for one, surprisingly still has it. It's their Blitz SG game mode that's been around for years, and it hasn't really changed much. That said, though, it isn't exactly the most popular, and it pulls around 70 to 100 players at peak times. Mindplex Java also still has it, but you can't exactly play it because there's never enough people to start a game, which is unfortunately much like a lot of the rest of their Java server. The only other somewhat significant Java server that I can find that still has survival games is Gummy HD. That said, having survival games is basically the minimum requirement because no one actually seemed to be playing it. Now, on the Bedrock side of things, you've got the Hive, which has their survival games and gets around 300 players at peak, and then there's also Cubecraft, which gets around the same numbers. Like I said earlier, Lifeboat brought survival games back, but it's not exactly doing the greatest, and it's generally pulling around 150 to 200 players at a time. Other than that on Bedrock, there isn't really much else in terms of vanilla survival games. A few other non-featured servers have it, but nobody's playing those either, and so if you want a survival games experience now, you don't really have that many options. But I think it's also worth diving a little bit deeper into just why survival games died in the first place. I mean, it's a classic that most people can look back on with enjoyment and nostalgia, so what went wrong? Well, I think it's a combination of multiple things kind of all happening at the same time. Speaking of time, that's one of the reasons. I'm sure you've heard the saying, time always wins. The game mode's been out for over 10 years at this point, and people simply got bored of it. There's been enough time for other game modes to come out and take over like Bed Wars, Sky Wars, and the likes, that survival games simply just got old. Another reason why I think survival games has basically died is because of the prevalence of other Battle Royale games coming out in the past few years. When you've played stuff like Warzone, Apex, and Fortnite, survival games is going to seem pretty bland in comparison, you'd think. Obviously, not everyone's going to be a huge fan of the FPS Battle Royales, but I think it's definitely still worth mentioning as a reason. My final reason for why I think survival games has taken a huge downturn is a little bit more out there, so put on your tinfoil hats for this one. It's no secret that short-form content has taken over the internet in the past few years, with things like the explosive growth of TikTok and YouTube Shorts as proof. Survival games, on the other hand, is a game that takes a while. At some points, you may even go a minute or two without seeing another player. I feel like as the current gaming and content consuming generation has changed, attention spans have gotten shorter, and survival games simply doesn't support that anymore. The way I see it, it's a long form game in a world of people that want short form content, and a lot of people simply just don't have the attention capacity to play it anymore. But after all of this, the ultimate question that a lot of us have been asking, can survival games, the game that was a part of our childhood and brought so much nostalgia to us, be saved? Well, as always, there's a simple answer and a complicated answer. The complicated answer is that people are trying. I think for survival games to survive in today's world, it's gonna have to be adapted to be more modern and less vanilla. We've seen servers attempt this over the past couple years. The Bedrock server Galaxite has a game called Kronos, which is a survival games-esque battle royale, but with quite a lot of changes and special items and concepts taken from other other battle royales. The Java server Tubnet also has a game mode quite literally called Battle Royale, and it's a relatively vanilla survival games experience but with some extra pizzazz thrown in like grappling hooks and cloud totems and some other interesting stuff, and it also uses the new Minecraft combat instead of the old 1.8 combat. Finally, there's also some speculation that MCC Island might eventually bring survival games to their server, and as a viewer watching people play it in Minecraft Championships, it seems to be pretty much bang on vanilla. Obviously, you've got stuff like a closing world border, but other than that, that might be the community's last hope at a new vanilla survival games experience. But I bet you're still waiting on the short answer for whether survival games can, well, survive. The sad answer to that is probably not. With all of the downfall that we've seen, and the expectation that interest probably won't increase again, it's hard to see a path to where survival games makes a recovery to what it once was. But as I've heard the quote said, if you love something, Sometimes, you gotta let it go. If you found this video interesting, you might also like learning about why Minecraft servers as a whole have been dying recently. 
Click the video on screen if that sounds interesting to you, but that's going to be it for this one, so thank you all for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Peace out.